Einen guten Tag guys, it's Trill again and in this video I will show you 10 useful wallbang spots on the map DE Nuke. Keep in mind that there's a big variety of possible wallbangs on this map, but today I will focus on the ones that I find most useful and applicable. We will start off by looking at some of the most useful wallbang spots for the counter-terrorist side. The first spot will allow you to bang through HUD and is used to frag any terrorist defensively holding HUD from the back lobby. To do this, you simply position yourself in the corner of these two wooden boxes. Aim at the hut wall, crouch and locate this small black spot on the hut wall. Aim just slightly above the spot and start bursting. Any terrorist watching hut from this position will be shot right in the head and you even have a good chance to take him out with the first burst. The next spot can be used if you are holding ramp with an orb. If the terrorist took control of bombsite A, you might get lucky and stop the bomb plant with this wallbang. For this wallbang you crouch between the railing and the wooden box. Aim at the center of this gate and locate these two black spots right here. Draw a horizontal line from the upper and a vertical line from the lower spot in your mind and start wallbanging where these two lines would cross. This will hit any player crossing or planting right in between these two silos on bombsite A. This spot has the same purpose as the previous one, but this one is used to stop a plant on the opposite side of the two silos. Once again you crouch in the corner of this wooden box and the red container and start spamming right above the smaller wooden box as shown right here. If you have a smoke on you, you could also smoke off outside to have an even better position for this wallbang. Crouch between the wooden box and the container on the opposite side and start banging just below this darker spot on the main entrance wall. You are even able to wallbang between the two bomb sites and this can be very useful for either side by stopping a plant or a diffuse. For this wallbang you stand in front of the smallest box in front of HUD and start banging in the floor at a slight angle. You can also wallbang from lower to upper to stop a plant or diffuse the same way. For these two wallbang spots you want to locate the third lamp hanging from the ceiling on bombsite B. From there you want to look to the right and you will find these two darker spots on the ceiling. You can use both of these as fixed points to bang the upper bombsite. The next wallbang we are looking at will be a wallbang for the silo. My mate Freddy likes to play this wallbang from main entrance to silo quite often and manages to pick a kill every few matches with this. When you hear someone jump up to silo, you can stand in front of this beam, take a few steps to the left and start wallbanging as shown right here. This will allow you to hit any terrorist standing at the edge of silo, which is the most common position to be at. Now to the terrorist wallbangs. The first spot we will be looking at is used to take out an enemy player watching into HUD from main entrance. For this wallbang, you want to stand at the corner of this steel beam, crouch and then simply spam the black vertical line below the HUD window. Make sure not to burst there too often since the counter-terrorist could spam the same position. You will also quite often find a counter-terrorist camping behind the CT vent. It might be worth trying to hit him using this wallbang. To do this you have to crouch in this corner of lobby in front of radio room and start banging the third black vertical line from the right on the hut wall.
The last wallbang that I'm about to show you can be used when you were able to take ram control on the terrorist side. You are able to wallbang a counter terrorist up in Crows who is aiming down to hell waiting for a push. Stand in this corner of ramp room, aim at the square on the far left of this catwalk and place your crosshair as shown right here. If there's a counter terrorist holding help from this position, he will be dead with a one hit headshot. To finish off this video, I would like to remind you that you cannot bank through this wall on T-Roof with an AK-47 anymore like you used to in previous versions of CSGO, but you are still able to deal some damage through these glass panels on the T-Roof. With that being said, I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you guys in my next video.